All right, we're doing Wheel Terms Explained part five. If you guys haven't seen parts one through four, then what are you even doing here? In this episode, we're gonna be covering terms like center caps, ballast stems, wheel spacers and adapters, and hub rings. I'm Rich from Koenig, let's get into it. Center caps. We get questions about center caps every day, so let's go over what you need to know. Every Koenig wheel comes standard with its own center cap, and a center cap does more than just look good. Sure, it enhances the aesthetic of your wheel by covering functional parts like your vehicle hub, but because it's covering the hub, it can also reduce the accumulation of debris that can potentially affect the wheel's performance or cause corrosion over time. Also, it's important to note that if you're taking your car to the track, make sure you remove your center caps beforehand. And if you guys need to order any replacement center caps, we got you at store.koenigwheels.com or visit any of our retailers. All right, so let's talk hub rings. We've done a few detailed videos breaking down the term hub centric rings and exactly how and why you should use them. But here's a short version of that. Hub rings are used to center your wheel onto your vehicle's hub upon installation. Its purpose is to perfectly center your wheel, which reduces the vibration of any kind and improves ride comfort. We make hub rings for all of our wheels in various sizes for a multitude of vehicles. We'd recommend using plastic hub rings for street applications and metal ones for track use. For more details on hub centric rings, be sure to click on one of these two videos for more information. Our next term is gonna be about valve stems. So we won't be stating the obvious and telling you guys that the purpose of a valve stem is to obviously hold in the air in your tire. However, it is important to note that valve stems come in both rubber and metal varieties. Choosing between a metal and a rubber valve stem is based on use case and personal preference. We fully break down the differences here, but in essence, we would recommend rubber valve stems for the average person. They are easy to find and stress-free because they are less prone to leaks and corrosion over time, unlike metal valve stems. On the flip side, metal valve stems can offer some advantages like high pressure and reusability as well as an aesthetic that rubber stems do not. You can't argue it, but metal valve stems do look great. In some cases, it could really be the cherry on top of a wheel and tire package. However, at a cost of a bit more maintenance and attention. Again, you guys can check out the video over here where we go into further detail about metal versus rubber valve stems. All right, so our last term is gonna be about wheel spacers. So officially, we do not condone the use of wheel spacers. There are so many variables to using spacers on a wheel that can cause issues, installation issues, the materials of the spacer can cause issues. It's a lot of issues, bro. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of issues. At the end of the day, a spacer is a piece of metal that sits between your wheel and the hub of your vehicle. Its purpose is to space the wheel out away from your car. Let's say for example, you have an 18, 10 and a half at a 25 offset and you need it to be at a 15 offset. You can use a 10 millimeter spacer to push the wheel out further 10 millimeters, making it essentially a 15 millimeter offset. It is important to note that when considering the use of spacers, you must, and I repeat, you must consider thread engagement. In our example of using a 10 millimeter spacer, that means we lose 10 millimeters of thread engagement. And thread engagement is one of the most important and overlooked aspects to fit in your wheels. Thread engagement provides the clamping force when bolting your wheel onto your car and without proper thread engagement, you're gonna put yourself and your vehicle at risk. All right, so in this episode, we covered center caps, valve stems, hub rings, and wheel spacers. If there's any other wheel terms that you would like explained, be sure to drop them in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you, I'm Rich from Koenig. Have a nice day.